Now that you have a handle on finding the greatest common factor, we're going to move to factoring out a monomial. It's really just finding the greatest common factor and pulling it out. Well, let's look at what we have. 4x to the fifth minus 24x cubed plus 8x. I notice that 4 goes into all of these numbers, all the coefficients. So I'm going to pull out a 4, and I'm going to pull out the variable x. Now this says, what is the factored form? What that means is pull it out, but still rewrite it, so that if you distribute it back in, you'd get the same thing. All right. If you need a visual, here's what we're going to do. We're going to divide every single term by the greatest common factor that we pulled out. So if you want to pull a little 4x underneath all of these, that's what we're doing. We're pulling a 4x, or dividing a 4x into all of these items. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. x to the 5th divided by x is x to the 4th. Okay, so I pulled out a 4 and I pulled out an x. We're going to do that again. Pull out a 4 from 24. That makes 6. Pull out an x from x cubed. That makes an x squared. Pull out a 4 from 8. That makes a positive 2. Pull out an x from x. Well, that's it. If you want to rewrite it, you just don't put the 1 in front of the x to the 4. That is what we call the factored form of that particular polynomial. Now, if you want to check, just distribute this back in and follow what we did in problem 1. That would become the exact same thing we had originally. Let's try the got it. What is the factored form of this polynomial? Look at all of your numbers. Well, I know 3 goes into all of these numbers, and that's the only number that goes into everything, and it's the largest. So I'm going to pull out a 3. If you want to, put a little 3 under each one, because that's what we're taking out of them. Now look at the x's. I can pull at least an x squared out of each one. So if you want to write a little x squared below them, go ahead. Now let's do some division and put parentheses on. 9x to the 6th divided by 3x squared. Well, 9 divided by 3 is 3. x to the 6th over x squared is x to the 4th. 15 divided by 3 is 5 x to the fourth over x squared means there's two left over. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Notice the addition signs. x squared divided by x squared is, that's it. That is the factored form of the original polynomial. Part B. What is negative 6x to the fourth minus 18x cubed minus 12x squared written as the product of a polynomial with positive coefficients and a monomial. Well, this time, we're going to have to look at all of those negative signs. Do you see how every single thing has a negative? And more importantly, do you see how the first term, how the first term has a negative? We're going to pull out a negative when that happens. So what number goes into 6, 18, and 12? Not, not just 3. Think as big as you can. A negative 6 is what we are going to pull out. We always want to pick out the biggest one that goes into each. Now look at the x's. x squared is what we'll pull out of each one. Let's rewrite. If you want to write a little negative 6x squared under each one, go ahead. Not necessary, but if it helps you, do it. You do not have to. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 divided by negative 6 is a positive 1. x to the 4th divided by x squared is x squared. Negative 18 divided by negative 6 is a positive 3 with an x left over. Negative 12 divided by negative 6 is a positive 2 with a no x is left over. This one should get rewritten because we don't like to write a coefficient of 1 if we don't have to. And that's how you write that polynomial with positives and the outside is now negative.